We're going to be at Jackson Studio, and thank God we won't have to eat that Mexican food. Sorry, <laughs> right, JV. Yeah. You know I love you, Clyde, but every well, time I've been to your studio, that's the meal. Right. <laughs> Plus, over on over on Sautel, there's all these beautiful uh, um, um, Asian places that you know that we haven't hit yet. We got to try, man. Yeah. Sautel ain't that far away. They'll deliver from there. Well, also we could just sneak next door when Hans Zimmer is ordering food for one of his dates and just <laughs> you know sit there and wait for some scraps. Yeah, true. Yeah. So, uh, I Dan, about that. That. Dan, I got to remind you, uh, like Steve mentioned earlier, we're headed to the East Coast. Uh, in November, but in February, we're headed down south. We're going to Miami, and it's stone crab season, baby. That's right. We'll have yeah, to hit stone up. crabs. Yeah. I'll get us a reservation at Joe's Stone Crab, and we'll go hit it if you have yeah. Get Cooch's own table because it's too dangerous sitting at the table with him. Yeah. Like, not Shells are flying no everywhere. <laughs> he thought my thumb was one of those claws and almost <laughs> took it off. That was one of the best ones, yeah. Um, yeah. Now we're, <laughs> we're definitely going to do that. New York, of course, is New fabulous. York. When we went New to New York last time, didn't Wadi and, and Lee, didn't you guys like run off to try to get the best pizza in the world and it wasn't the best pizza? We went right to Joe's. As minute no, we no, 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 we went to Joe's. Oh, you I, I took the advice. It was funny. The last night we played at the Iridium, uh, I couldn't get anybody to go to Joe's with me. Everybody was, I don't know, busy, I guess they call it. But... Uh, so and, and but before that, a couple of people were saying, "Oh, there's this place over on Eighth Avenue and Thirty Fourth. That's the best in town. You gotta go there. You gotta go there." And I like I couldn't get anybody to go with me anywhere, so I went, "All right, I got a cab. Take me to Eighth and Thirty Fourth. Let me see this place." I go in there, eat a slice, <laughs> grab another cab. Take me to Joe's, please. <laughs> Thank you much. Went down to Joe's. It's crowded as hell. Just snuck in, you know, stood there, had about two or three slices. Joe's at 14th and 3rd, by the way, for yeah. everybody. Uh, the original one is on Carmine, I think, in the village. And That's what it is, yeah. The one at 14th and 3rd is a magic place. And I've been there when it's pouring rain and the doors stay open. That's right, <laughs> and there's a line. There's a line out the door. People are coming in and out. It's unbelievable. It's open till 4 in the morning, I think. Like New, like everything in New York used to be, but I'm starving. Buddy, I will go with you. I've never been there. I promise oh, you, man. you will never have to go alone. All right, that's a day. Hey, do you know if is Rayo's still open in New York City? The yeah, sure. Rayo's? and where is that? That's up in Harlem. That's way uptown. That that's uptown. That's in the um, the East Bronx or the, the South Bronx or what something. Place? Rayo's. Rayo's. Yeah. Oh, Rayo. Yeah, show this. Great Rayo's. Yeah. We got to make that one too. Yeah. yeah. There's two downtown. places I I always like to eat there. The papaya hot dog stand on West 72nd Street. Sure, of course. Right, which I hit last time, which is just as good as it ever was. Fabulous place. And then there's yeah, a place I've... which I think you guys haven't gone to. I'd love to take. It's called La Caridad. And it's Cuban Chinese. And there was a there's a history what a bunch of, like some Cuban Chinese people got together and they, <laughs> they make a, it's a combination. It's fantastic. That's a real New York thing, boy. That's a, yeah. That's been going forever. I've never right. had that. Oh, so good. It's like it's it's beans and yellow rice, but then like like Chinese chicken, you know, like sweet and sour chicken. It's fucking great. Well, Chris, we gotta go next trip to New York. We gotta go to um, the Shun Li uh, Shun Li Cafe. Oh yeah. Uh, it's all all dumplings. It's all yeah. the steamed dumplings, and they bring the cart around. It's right. fantastic. So it's dim no, sum, basically, right? Then we have to go downtown to uh, this place that it used to have a name, and, and now it has. It's got some new name, but for years, they just called it 69 Bayard Street, which is the address of it. And it's a place my brother and I've been eating in since I was about 15, 16 years old. And it's still the same <laughs> nasty waiters that throw the menus on the table. What do you want? And the best wonton soup and spare ribs ever, anywhere. Is that, go. is that in Chinatown or somewhere else? Chinatown, yeah, Bayard Street. Chinatown. Yeah, I've been there. It's, it's just as what he described it. It's fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to hit, we should hit Chinatown next time. That's something we don't It's so get. funny, I was in New York with Bernard and we did a gig and after the gig, he said, wow, we're gonna go out clubbing with these guys. You wanna go? I went, no, uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and then the next night I said to some people, I said, we gotta go down to my favorite Chinese place. We go down there and I get a phone call from Bernard. 
And he goes, what are you doing, man? I said, I'm at this Chinese joint of mine that I've been telling you about. He goes, oh, what's the address? 69 Bayard. He gets out of the car, gets out of the cab, comes in the place, looks around and goes, man, I was here last night. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? You were going clubbing? He goes, yeah, we went clubbing. It was a drag. So once somebody said, we got to go down to this Chinese place. <laughs> so That's that was great. Great. That place has been there forever. I hope it's still there. Yeah. I mean, after what we went through, after losing Charlie's and then finally finding that, that joint. Yeah. And, and it was gone the next time. I know. That was horrible. Yeah. <sighs> Terrible loss, Charlie's. That place was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. You, you guys ever go to the Kev Cafe in the East Village? The Polish what place? Cafe? No. K-I-E-F. All night. It was an all night place. And we'd go after gigs at like five in the morning and get like the, the incredible lock, you know, like all the... Oh, well, that's like a, uh, yeah, yeah, one of those joints, yeah. There yeah. used to be one in the oh, village. Too. That on the table and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Right. yeah, there used to be a joint in the village. I think it was called Kenneret. Yeah. Middle Eastern. They bring you like these these bro broiled mussels in a broth and you just sit there dunking bread in it and just it was, was unbelievable was that was a famous little joint actually yeah and they're all so many are gone now it's just yeah. sad nirvana yeah. gone and if you you know if we're in the city and we, we just money is burning a hole in our pocket we could go have a 75 dollar lobster salad at nello <laughs> <laughs> Or if you go to a joint I always that I love to go to, Fiorello, which is right across from Lincoln Center. That's now, right. It's kind of a touristy place, you know, but fabulous. The food there is absolutely fabulous. And it costs a lot of money, too. Yeah, so Italian. We can go there and yeah. blow our, our pay there. Yeah. It's really, really good. Yeah. See, the thing, the, the thing that's great is sometimes you go to a place and they go, oh, it's touristy. But it's that for a reason. In, in Paris, there's um, a place called Le Souffle that's just um, right off Place Concorde. Over there working with um, Veronique Sanson, we said they said let's go out to dinner. I said let's go to this place, and they said oh it's touristy. That's the tourist area. We went there. They said this is the best meal I've ever had. Yeah, you yeah. just you never know, man. You just got to go for these things. So I think you know that, I'd love to go to that joint in, in off Lincoln Center. Yeah, Lincoln, 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 what, what was the name of the restaurant that you and Wadi and I went to every night when we were in London working with Judith? The Italian restaurant that we went to almost every night. Oh, yeah, we talked about it yesterday. Remember the name of that place? The oh, food was great. Really oh, great. Oh. Right, it was like walking distance from our little hotel, wasn't it? it was yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. What, what about the best food in LA, guys? I mean, we're talking right. about New York, we're talking about London. I got to say, my favorite my favorite restaurant in LA, Musso and Friends. That's yeah. it. And I will go on record as saying that. And it just just reopened. Yes, it did. That's right. Just have you been? Have you been since it reopened? Uh, no, no, I haven't. But they have a drive. They have a drive-through now. Gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of my favorite restaurants in LA is, uh, I would have to say, Cupid's, the uh, best chili dogs in town. All right. They're not really in LA, though, are they? They're kind of yeah. They're around LA. LA. They're around LA. LA. But yeah, it's great. You got to mention uh, In and Out Burger too. I mean, there's no In and Out Burgers on the East Coast at all. They're all yeah. on the East Coast, and they're absolutely right. brilliant. Just well, like I want to have to remind Danny of a place. I, I live in San Clemente, and I took Danny to one of my favorite breakfast places called the SC Cafe. I love that place. And, and we had breakfast, and Danny said to me, he "Goes, well, I want. I wish I had one of these around, just around the corner from my house, because it's old school, red booths, you know, red, uh, wow. you know, leather booths." And they just serve basic breakfast and lunch. You oh, know, it was right? brilliant, wonderful. Yeah, that's great. Love that yeah. cafe. What's the What's the Mexican place up in Santa Barbara that's so good? What's that called? Oh, uh, that's uh, La Superica. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, and that place is fantastic. I haven't been there in years, but Brown yeah. turned me on to it. Yeah, like, he did. Absolutely it. wonderful. Yeah. There's yeah. also a Cajun place in Santa Barbara, I think, called the Palace. That's really good. It's off Main Street, and it's it. You feel like you're in New Orleans when you eat there really good let's go let's get on the road we need to go eat <laughs> go eat yeah that's it what are, where are we eating tonight that's the yeah. uh that's, that's the, the, the line of the road you know where are we eating? and now <laughs> everything's opening up again guys the yeah restaurants are starting to open up again and uh this will be a thrill for us to yeah this is this is why that. by the way this is why we all diet before we go on the road because of this kind of discussion <laughs> yeah 
Right. Well, I think one of the great things when you talk about old tours and cities, the first thing that comes to mind is where did you eat, not the venue. Right. Yeah. Right. Going to Memphis and thinking about rendezvous or any of those places to go get ribs or anything like that. Musicians always talk about food. We oh. know it. <laughs> remember, remember when uh, when we were in London on the same trip, you were just talking about it. We went with Mark Botting. We went to try to go to uh, oh, yeah. Lee Ho Fuchs. <laughs> that was uh, so great. Which used to be there and it's gone. And there's one restaurant saying that it was the place that where and it was funny because I went to the place. I'm the one who went there. And but after we put out werewolves and everything, for years they had this you know, like at the, at, at the deli downtown, at Katz's, Katz's, where they have the arrow pointed yeah, where Katz's. Harry and Sally were done. They have this table set up at Lee Ho Fuchs with the arrow going, this is where Warren Seafon ate and wrote the song, Werewolves of London. And I went, First of all, Warren was never there. Uh, he didn't eat there. He's never been there. I was there. And, uh, and then it was gone, but the best thing was we were with Mark Botting. Yeah. We're looking around, and it's Leo Fuchs. And finally, Mark Botting goes, It's fucking gone. <laughs> with his English accent. It's fucking gone. The other thing that was yeah. great about that night is we went into that restaurant and we ate. Remember, oh, Wadi? Yeah. And, and, we, and we made the big mistake of Wadi of letting you order. You ordered so much food. We want the we want the we want the pork ribs. How many orders? Five. We want the chow mein. They have well, so that. much food. Yeah, yeah. I'd have to say doing? also, uh, uh, viewing audience, that the biggest food snob in our band by far is Wadi Wachtel. <laughs> <laughs> what what you know, he, he looks what? at pizza. He looks at pizza. He looks. He just sneers at it. <laughs> Wrong color. He throws it out. You know, unbelievable. <laughs> you know? But yeah, that's no. good. That's quality control. We need that. That's a guy who has his own eggs that come out of the, his own chickens. You know, yeah. 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 terrible snob. I have no control of those. <laughs> well, all right. All right. There you go. Yeah, there, there we go. go. There you go. Mm. That's that's Joe's, ain't it? Yep. Yeah. It's right on that plank table. Right. It's the right color, you see. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking hot dog today. Chili dogs, man. Well, you know. Definitely Thursday, chili dogs. All right. Okay. Hot dogs for everyone. Beautiful. All right. Uh, Sauerkraut and mustard over here. Boy. I know that. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, cats. Let's go eat. Fun. Let's go eat. Yeah. Love <laughs> right. you guys, man. I'm, I, I can't wait to get together and play. Yep. Yeah.